Hi everyone, I'm Zeb Fima, Research Analyst with Action Alerts Plus. I'll be filling in for Catherine Ross today and all of next week. Uh, Jim, we've got a lot to talk about sure, today, yeah, so let's dive right into day. it. A lot of uh, a lot of activity down here. A lot of the activity has to do with Pinterest. And right, we we'll talk Pinterest, and, canopy, right. earnings. And, but it, look, there is an enthusiasm for the market here. Out of the uh, healthcare stocks and the industrials, that's a very important move, as you know, uh, because there's a lot of action alerts names that are industrials. And it's working. And it's working right. because the economy is, uh, is upshifting. And we saw that from a Union Pacific, we saw that from a CSX. Right, Jim, and it's a very exciting day. I mean, we have Pinterest here. The floor is absolutely crazy. I mean, do you have any thoughts on Pinterest, on the IPO well, I think in you general? and I both know that Pinterest is going to come at too high a price in the sense that it's selling on a basis of sales higher than anything else that we have. But remember, it, it, Pinterest is kind of the benign Facebook. People want a clean internet play. Right. They feel Twitter's picked over. They feel Facebook every day, you come and get a revelation. So uh, Pinterest is kind of, uh, you know, a happy stock, so All to right. speak. Now, your right. wife used it. Right. Yeah, so she used it. She used it for the engagement party for the wedding. Now, the right. one issue is, it's a fantastic platform. The issue is, she hasn't really come back to it yeah, since the that's wedding. It's funny whether it's going to be one off or not. Right. Uh, I like Etsy very much. Etsy's certainly cheaper than this stock, so we have to be careful with Pinterest. Right. So, Jim, let me ask you something. They priced it at $19 a share. From what I can see right now, it's going to look, it's opening 22 23 we're, we're, it's good Friday tomorrow, markets close. What do investors need to watch on the second you, you day need, of trading? Okay, second day of trading uh, opens up, say, uh, it sells half right now, half okay. at the opening, then see if it plays out. Why would I do that? Because we have seen over and over again that there's too much enthusiasm first day. Right. So let's not get caught up. Okay. Yeah, and listen, Pinterest is our real money stock of yeah. the day. This is a hot IPO. Again, it priced at 19. It's looking at 22, 23 now. So you need to know everything you can about this IPO. Real money. Kevin Kern's covering it on real money. Um, you know, Jim, the other thing is it's 420 this weekend. Yes, uh, it is. Kind Bruce of a, Linton a big does these kinds of things. Marijuana culture. Bruce Linton, CEO of uh, Canopy. He has a tremendous sense of humor. Those of us, yeah. those of you who went to the teach-in, that was just one of the greatest teach-ins ever with him and Bill Newlands, know that he can't resist doing something like that. The buy, the three billion dollar buy of acreage, basically sews right. up the biggest in America with the biggest in Canada. Now you start realizing why Constellation gave them so much, four billion. So now they're going to lock up everything. Remember, this deal is not really going to close until. Cannabis is legal throughout the country. Right, there are some legal issues, but they are right. getting the right to it. So, so here's my question. Sure. I mean, everyone is trying to play the marijuana space in a ton of different ways. Right. We have the MJ ETF, there's tons of companies. Right. Are we going to see, first off, are we going to see more consolidation in the industry? And with Canopy specifically, are we looking at more M&A activity going well, forward? I mean, Kronos has money, right? So Kronos is lined up. Uh, there's still some other companies to buy. I really want to focus on the buyers, not the sellers, because Canopy's up very big. Now, what does that mean? Right. You're just trying, you know, Canopy, I remember speaking with, I've spoken with Bruce, a, you know, maybe, I don't know, like 25 times. His goal is to be Coca-Cola. That's what he wants to be. Right. I mean, he can't be Pepsi. He wants to be Coca-Cola. And you know what? It's going to be Coke and Pepsi. We think it might be Kronos the other, is the other one. Now, some of these analysts Not like... Not Tilray? No. I think Tilray is the company to that is uh, the most overhyped. They've also been focusing a lot on wholesale, right? Whereas Canopy yes. is very right. much specialized right. products, branding. Right. And Canopy is uh, Tweet. Uh, Canopy is the winner, anointed by Constellation. And you can play it by only Constellation, beer sales were pretty good. That's another way to go. It's the chicken's way to go. All right, Jim, so we're, we're wrapping up the first right. week of earnings. I've always wanted to do this, so no. it is time for the lightning round. Oh, so I'm gonna run down uh, three quick names. Are you ready, names. Ski Daddies? Yes. <laughs> Booyah, it is time. Um, so I'm gonna run down three names, just give me yeah. your quick hit. So Schlumberger. Schlumberger was better than expected, but at the same time, you know what? International oil, not so good, and, I mean, it was better than expected, okay? But when you look at it versus the old Schlumberger, don't get excited. Okay, and we're going to dig into all of these yes. names, by the way, more on the Action Alerts right, call exactly, after this. Exactly. So next up, Dan Hur. Dan Hur, look, was, was terrific. Now, we did take a huge amount of profits. We were using a Bulls make money, Bears make money, hogs get slaughtered call. So we have sold it today versus yesterday. Healthcare is so bad, I didn't want to get. I didn't want to give up the big game. Right, absolutely. And it was definitely coming in hot after yeah, that GE yeah, acquisition. All right, next up, Honeywell. We right, love Honeywell, this best thing. Best in show. Best in Absolutely. show. I mean, just tremendous, some double-digit gainers, uh, really big swing in climate control. Uh, yeah. Darius Stamchik doing a great job. He uh, offloaded the one-week business. Uh, what can I say? Don't sell. And the best or top-line organic growth in years, an acceleration from the fourth Fantastic. quarter. It's what you want. 
All right, so there you have it. We're going to be zeroing into all of this and more on the Action Alerts call. Again, Pinterest on Real Money. And the last thing I'm going to say, Jim, happy anniversary. So get over to oh, Twitter. Oh, thank you very much. It's Jim's anniversary. Yes, it is. Lisa. Well wishes and all happy that. Happy anniversary, Lisa. All right, and I'm Zeb Fima, Research Analyst for Action Alerts Plus, and I'll see you on Monday.